designing for a play is very much, I feel like I'm a detective trying to figure out what is it that visually this world is going to be of the play. This play is called Peter and the Star Catcher. Well, it's the, the, the backstory to Peter Pan. Well, what I decided to do is I looked at it, okay, where are we, where does the story start taking place? And it takes place, they say, in a, in a you know, shipping dock in London. So I started doing some visual research and looking at old Victorian docks and what, and shipbuilding in that time. And it kind of led me to this idea of these curves and like the innards of a ship being built. But I also started looking at this idea of what is Neverland, uh, which is, you know, a, people never growing up and I thought of this thing called parkour which is kind of like this urban gym that allows you to play inside and not maybe get hurt but it's like for adults and for kids and so we never grow up so I kind of looked at that and it kind of came into my mind as a connection and so I started doing visual research and parkour gyms and what the movement that parkour people do in this and so kind of meshing the two kind of created this this kind of looked to me like a world unique. And then I do all kinds of little models that allow me to you know, create this world. And when an audience comes in, they'll recognize, oh, this looks like a, the bowels of a ship. Oh, this looks like a climbing wall. Oh, this looks like a skateboard ramp. So all those things kind of took place in my head as I designed this and they're manifest visually, but it's, it's a play. So it's helping to tell the story uh, of Peter and the Starcatcher.